Hello and welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Jokjan Wiersma and I'm an orchid grower from the Netherlands. So yes, you guys, this is another episode of the Blooms, Buds and Such, which is basically an update on blooms and buds, but also other things going on. So and it's been a while since I uh, made one of these videos, but yeah, there was a lot, uh, lot to do, I, uh, I guess. Uh, first thing, uh, I would like to mention is that this time of year is a very busy time uh, of year for me work-wise so I probably might skip a few videos on the Wednesdays but I try to at least make one video on the Sundays just to to let you know that everything is okay uh, being busy is not a problem but it just takes up time and therefore I don't have as much time to make these videos in the end it's a hobby so work comes first and uh, work is fine uh, so, uh, uh, but yeah, it's a bit busy this time of, uh, of year, I'm sorry. Uh, and I made uh, a little uh, uh, um, notes here because I don't want to skip anything. Uh, the next thing for next Sunday is uh, uh, going to be a sort of Q&A uh, video. I had some uh, questions in the comments that I like to save now and again and make a separate video about uh, those questions because one of those questions is just too short for one video so I like to put them in, in one and make a sort of Q&A video out of it. So therefore I'm just letting you know if you have any questions uh, you would like me to answer on camera I can do that so uh, of course let me know next Sunday so you have about a, a week I probably will film it at Saturday so try to uh, give your comments your questions before Saturday and I uh, will uh, will take it in in the next uh, video I think that's uh, going to be fun as well so uh, we're definitely going to look at some uh, blooms and I chose this spot because uh, currently this is one of my most favorite spots in the in the greenhouse or in the orchid room I should say because of these beauties it's uh, absolutely uh, the time of year apparently well actually they are a little bit later than Miltoniopsis but they are really starting to bloom and the fragrance you guys it's fantastic absolutely fantastic it's uh, it's the most uh, um, a nice fragrance if you ask me from the Miltoniopsis. It's a little bit different, they're not all the same, but absolutely great. Uh, so that's uh, the first, that's the intro. Let's uh, go to the next section of this uh, video. So yes, you guys, uh, this is a little bit of an update uh, according to the files. Well, actually the uh, video I recently didn't make about three, four weeks ago, uh, the, the fell wall, I did a whole video on them and it's just very nice uh, for the channel and I think you like it as well because I just wanted to let you know that that video is the uh, most watched video so far. It's just uh, been online, like I said, for three, four weeks. But uh, I'm making videos about four years, I think, and I have my channel for five years. The first three years, two and a half, three years, I did make art uh, tutorials. Then I changed it into an orchid channel. And like I said, it's it's in the top 10. Uh, YouTube has this, uh, these analytics and you can see your best uh, performing videos. And this is few wise. Uh, so uh, how many people have watched it already. And this uh, video about the fails, the fail wall, is uh, currently at number three. At, uh, out of those 10 videos that I make over all those years. So yeah, you guys, it's amazing. And I just wanted to say thank you to you all because you guys, you make uh, that happen. And I had no idea when I started uh, making this video, when I started this, this wall, that it would be so successful uh, uh, to sub uh, subscribers, to uh, viewers, that m so many people would like it. And yeah, it's, it feels like I, like a gift that you guys are giving me, and I just want to say thank you because it's absolutely amazing. Uh, number three, within three weeks, it's it's, uh, and I made three hundred thirty-seven videos, 
So yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And they still are uh, blooming beautiful. We have a lot of colors. So yeah, I thought I'm going to take uh, this opportunity uh, to show them one more time because it's very suited, of course, for this, uh, this update. So that is uh, that. That's beautiful news. Now I'm going to grab the camera and uh, we're going to have a look around. I'm uh, going to give some updates on blooms and buds now. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we're starting in this corner because last Sunday was my uh, blooming update for the month of April. And <laughs> I always seem to forget at least one bloomer. And this time it was this beauty. It's such a, a oh, yeah, it's a bit of a strange flower, but it's very beautiful. It's the Epidendrum Thomas A. Oh. So <laughs> it's kind of funny, uh, a funny name. Let me zoom in on the name. So, you know, I'm not, not lying. Maybe it's reclassified, but I don't think so. It's very uh, epidendrum still. But Thomas, ah, oh, yes. That is this one. And, yeah, it's, I have it for two or three years now. It was a, a freebie in one of my orders. But it's doing beautifully well. And it's just so sad that I missed this bloom. So I really want to make it uh, up to this one because it's, she's trying. She's blooming so well. So, yeah. Here she is. Very strange blooms, but I, but I like it. I really like it. A bit different. So that's the first update. Let's go to the second one. And the second update, bloom-wise, is not far from the epidendrum. We were just in this, this corner here. <laughs> I'm going to show you this fell because it wasn't in bloom when we did the update. But she's beautiful. Let me try to find a way because we have some spikes in the way. But um, yeah, here she is beautiful yellow one and i'm going to grab the tag in a minute this one has a beautiful fragrance and i did get this because annabelle from the orchid room did show it in one of her videos she did a whole video on it and and i was so impressed by her uh, uh fell that i thought yeah i'm going to buy it and i didn't regret it one moment because this fragrance is very citry like which i uh, i really really enjoy so let me show you the tag quickly so you have an idea if you are interested in this one. Beautiful fragrance. Not incredibly strong, but it is when you are in the neighborhood of this orchid, you will uh, definitely, uh, definitely uh, smell it. Absolutely beautiful. One more time. Here she is. So that was the second update, blooming wise. Let's go to the uh, third one. And that is this one way up here. It's my Dendrobium parisii starting to bloom. Look at that. What a beautiful blooms. Nice and fragrant, but I have, have it up in the roof, so I cannot uh, smell it very, very uh, easily, but it, it has a beautiful fragrance. Also a freebie. A very young plant, but she's doing fine. And I, I have it now, I think, for two years. And she did bloom uh, so far every year. But absolutely beautiful. She has some company in a pot. I need to address that. But anyhow, <laughs> this is C. Parisii. And then down here, I put my uh, Boba Film Wilbert Chang. I'm not sure if you remember, but uh, or if you did see it in one of my videos, I did talk about it because she's growing so well, but I never had any spikes on it. So I put it inside of the orchid room, and I now think that she is making a spike. And even though oh, some aphids on there, oh, it's so sad. I keep spraying it. Let me get them off very quickly before they destroy the whole spike and yes i know we are in a greenhouse i just yesterday um put it back not in the same spot but i'm trying it now in this area in the greenhouse not too much light but i think she did enjoy it a little bit better here this is an old leaf from an old bulb so yeah that happens but i see some coloration here which i don't like and she didn't have it uh, when I had her in the green house before. So I think she does miss some, some light. I think maybe 
could have a little bit more warmth and cooling down in the evening. And that's happening way more um, drastically in my greenhouse and in the orchid room. So hopefully she will uh, come back. And I also saw some, some smaller bulbs. So this is a sign of not being happy. These are from previous years, so she grew like crazy. So I think she will be fine again, but she doesn't like the orchid room. Here's also a very small bulb. But maybe because he wasn't that happy, he decided to make a spike. I'm not sure. It doesn't... I thought the spikes wouldn't be, be uh, maybe be, be a bit bigger, but we shall see. Anyhow, that's a little bit update on the bulbophyllum film Wilbur Chang. And then we are in this corner of the greenhouse. Also a very nice uh, corner because here, here I have my uh, Miltonias. Most of them are Miltonias. We have a few other types of orchids, but yeah, I really, really enjoy uh, growing Miltonias as well. And oh, she's opened. I didn't see it yet, but look, this is the Bartley Swartz white, just starting to open up. But do you see the uh, amount of spikes? This is the first time that I have five, I think maybe even six spikes on her. So she's doing uh, very well. That's beautiful, of course. Then we have the Morliana. And I did uh, talk about it with Inse. I emailed him and I said, well, we had a little, uh, I was just was asking how uh, his did, but I said, I have, I think I have flower spikes. And he was like, mm, it's a little bit fake. I don't see them yet, but look at this. This is what you uh, should see, a very small uh, start of a spike and then a little bit thicker top where the buds will form. So this is more like a new growth here and this one as well. But here on the same bulb, you see this one. That's the difference. But yeah, this one is uh, starting to spike already. We have more here, we have more there, we have one here. And I think they're in the back one. So we uh, should be have quite a show on this one as well. But that's the difference. This is now beautiful. Uh, in frame, I think, so you can really see the difference there. But the tips of the new growth and the new spike. So that's what was taking me uh, off a little bit in the previous years because they are very similar. And normally in other orchids, they are not. But now uh, this is what you want to see that in uh, within uh, that break, I think you call it. If there is something coming, there's probably a spike. And next to it, this is my uh, Flavsen. Do I say that correctly? Where is the tag? Well, I will look it up. I will put it in the screen. <laughs> but do you see the amount of spikes, you guys? This bulb has two. Uh, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least eight spikes. Last year I had two, I rem if I remember correctly. At least nothing close like, uh, like this. But yeah, that's, uh, I think uh, those two Fairly uh, big uh, beauties will uh, give quite some show. At least it looks like uh, they, uh, they are planning on something. So we're going to follow them. <laughs> and then we have this one. This one is still uh, growing very well, but I do not see any spikes yet. But she's uh, had quite a lot of new growths. It's one from Landsberg and a, a no ID uh, Miltonia, but it's the purple one, a very, very nice one. But here in the back, well, actually, this is the first, this is the Festiva. Yeah, the, the other one is the Flavsent. We just saw the big one, that one. This is the Festiva. I always uh, confuse those two, the names. But look at this. Also a spike. One, uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least seven. It's, I think, I'm not sure if I counted this one. Seven or eight spikes. I never had so many spikes on this one as well. And my Miltonias are early this time. So apparently they didn't uh, mind the colder winter. They seem to do, uh, do fine. I'm looking forward to this one as well. Beautiful. And then uh, we have here the uh, sunset. The one we probably all know. Well, we have quite a uh, nice spike here. Another one there. In the back we have another one, so that's three. Uh, 
And this new growth is just too small yet yeah, to spike. But at least three spikes on this one as well. It wasn't that big, but it grew uh, three more, four more bulbs. So yeah, this one is, uh, is taking off as well, doing very well. And then these big mamas. <laughs> Do we already see spikes? Not yet. At least I don't see them yet. And uh, this is, oh, I should grab the text. Uh, this is the, I whoop, Bastian Whitmer, I think. I'm not sure, but it's very close at least. Or the Summer Breeze, those two look very uh, uh, like one another, I think. Then we have this beauty, Ragnellii. It's already uh, growing out, out of the pot. Oh, I don't want to divide this, uh, these girls <laughs> because I like them being so big. But I have uh, another of this, this uh, type of pot. And I think that this one is slightly smaller. So I may get another year if I uh, put this one in, in such uh, a similar uh, same pot. Maybe one year, maybe two years. And then I have another problem. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, at least a uh, update on the Miltonias. They are really, really doing fine. And are better, actually, better than they, uh, they did before. So that's very, uh, very nice, very something to look forward to. And then just a little quick update. Look at the Hancockii. These blooms are not very uh, long for, the, for this world. So uh, I'm just taking this opportunity just to show you that we uh, have quite some uh, yellow blooms there. This is the best blooming so far on this one. And I just wanted to show it to you guys because it's so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And while we're in this corner, let me go down here because these are also so beautiful. I did show them in my uh, bloom update, I know, but look at this. So many flowers, what a beautiful color. Absolutely stunning. Firebirds, Dendrobium Firebird, Stardust Firebird, to be complete. And next to it, another show off. Look at this beautiful. This is, let me first grab the tag, Rainbow Dance. Ay, 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 what a blooms on this one as well. Oops. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, I just wanted to give them a little spot in this video because they are so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And they go well, so well together, I think. That purple and that orange here brighten up this corner. We do have a little bit of white still here next to it, but she is uh, going over now slowly. But yeah, beautiful. And a little bit of yellow up here. On the prima donna. <laughs> so yeah, I think those were a, quite a few beautiful blooms, even though I know I already did a blooming update on April, but I just wanted to show them to you guys because they are so beautiful. Anyhow, brings me to the next point uh, that I wanted to mention. I did get my first uh, super fangs. You probably all know there's a button you can uh, leave a sort of tip for uh, the, the maker of the videos. In this case, on this channel, it's me, obviously. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for that. And it made me think about it, because if you do a super thanks, to be honest, YouTube uh, will keep quite a big part of that uh, tip you are giving uh, me. Um, so that's not, not, I don't think it's that fair, but anyhow, there's another option. And maybe you noticed already, but I have it in my video description. I also have a, a little, uh, uh, how do you call it? A little link, a little note in my um, banner. If you go to my uh, uh, channel, the original page of my channel, you'll see Instagram, Facebook, and buy me a coffee. And buy me a coffee is a, also a way to give uh, uh, me a tip in this, in this case, if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to. Uh, so, uh, and I, I will get more out of it, basically what is what I'm saying. And I think it's a little bit more fair. That sounds a bit, uh, a bit strange. I'm not asking for money. 
And that's why I'm bringing this point up because I haven't thought about it. I, I, uh, I'm happy. I don't need a lot of money. Of course, it's, it's wonderful if you have it, but I don't want to beg for money. But if you want to give me something, it's highly appreciated, but I want to, to do something with it, bring it back into the channel because that's, that's how we met and that's how you know me. And, and that's why you're, you're, you're giving me a tip, of course. So, uh, I thought, well, you know what? I have no idea how long this is going to take. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to save up the tips, the buy me a coffees, the super thank yous. I'm going to put them all together. And one day I thought maybe it's fun that uh, we find a way to uh, buy my first YouTube orchids. So I thought um, that feels right. That's that's. So you're giving me money and I'm using it in my videos, in my greenhouse, and it's a sort of thank you. And I just want to buy something, something unique. I don't have a YouTube uh, orchid. So uh, buying a orchid uh, completely sponsored by you guys would be amazing, of course. But once again, I'm not asking for money, but I just wanted to let you know if you feel uh, that you can and you want to give me a tip, thank you. I'm going to put it aside and one day I'm going to grab the camera and I probably have a plan to make this happen because of course uh, we need to figure something out. I thought maybe I can give a top five of favorite orchids that I would like buy from that money and you can uh, vote on your favorite and that will be my YouTube orchid. And uh, I think that's fun to have that YouTube orchid. It's it's a sort of connection, uh, I think, in this uh, in this uh, greenhouse or orchid room. A, a beautiful reminder uh, of this channel of you guys helping me out, supporting me, and that would be uh, great, absolutely great. So just uh, I just wanted to put that out there, and we shall see how that goes. Uh, and that's for now uh, the last update. I, there, there's always something to talk about, of course. But these were the things that I thought, yeah, I need to uh, show it to you guys, or I want to show it, and I want to discuss it uh, so far. So for now, once again, thank you so much. And maybe you noticed, but uh, currently, while I'm, while I'm filming, uh, recording this video, we are at 1.22k uh, subscribers. So that fell uh, video, which was uh, quite long, actually, 75 minutes. I thought that it's going to be too long, but still it's, it's going crazy. It's uh, bringing also quite some new, uh, new uh, subscribers here. So thank you so much. And of course, to all my subscribers for your support. So I'm going to leave it for now. And uh, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, please let me know in the video description and I can take them in my Q&A for next week. And for now, thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.